I saw these girls. They had um, a song called F2020, but it's actually really, really catchy. And F2020. Yep. And on TikTok, it just blew up. And they did the sweetest TikTok video the other day. The girls were in the car because they're undiscovered before this. You know, they're just making music yeah. during quarantine. And um, they heard it playing for the first time on the radio and they were all crying. And I loved it because they were just so raw and real. They weren't all done up. It was just who they are, you know, natural and... I just, I, I love that kind of stuff. And they made it themselves. Yeah. Did, they didn't have a label or record deal or anything? I don't believe so. I don't know. I just, I love it. I got, I had a, a question today from a college student who's writing a paper mm -hmm. about becoming an actor. And the same thing applies to music. Believe me, ladies and gentlemen, I've been out here for 15 years. It is the most insane business. And if people really knew what it really is, like how hard it really is, it, it, uh, my, my naivete and what the industry would call green mm -hmm. is what allowed me to just be that young kid in the chair yeah. when I was 18 to 20. It's just extremely hard. So just know that it is extremely hard. But everything, if you want to be an actor or you want to be an influencer or you want to be a doctor or you want to be one of these one percenter jobs. Everything worth it in life is you have to You yeah. have to work for it. But I, I the, the most frustrating part is that there's so many talented actors and singers in the world that if they put out their own content, the market and the audience will decide. Of course. We've been building a podcast here based on just starting a YouTube channel. We didn't have to go pitch a network or a distribution company to say, believe in us. Right. I promise we, we can have a good conversation. People will listen. I promise. Yeah, but you know, you're too tall or we want, we need a couple that's you know, blah, 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 or right. whatever it is. We just, right. just start. We have the power now to do it. Just do it. Anyone can do it from their house. Billie Eilish. Oh, how many Grammys does she She's have? So 817? Good. Yeah. <laughs> does her music with her brother in her childhood her, her childhood, childhood home, home still. Yeah. Yeah. I had a dream. <laughs> and I got oh, no. everything I wanted. Oh, no. I think she did that in her actual bedroom. And it's just the best music ever. So for all you artists out there, don't get caught up in the I have to be in L.A., I have mm -hmm. to be in New York. I mm -hmm. need a power agent. It's and because yes, but you need that is like step nine. Yeah. Today. Yeah. It was the only step back in the day. Yeah. You have to leave your family. You have to come out here. It is unbelievably expensive. Never even knew about taxes until mm -hmm. I got older and started making money. Where I'm like, oh wait, you can pay up to thirteen percent additional state tax here. So if you live in Florida and there's no state yeah. tax and you make. 80 grand building a YouTube channel or building your own videos, you're also saving so much money on taxes and you can just like fly in and out. But being here, you know, I, I would 100% come with a book of work in yeah. your hometown with your buddies at your college, at your theater, no matter where you are, get a bunch of people together and start shooting short films. Look what Kevin James is doing. Kevin James, A list movie star two hit te television shows, is now doing a YouTube channel where he puts out hilarious short films. Now, we can't, you know, his budget for his short films are probably 30 right. grand each thing. But if you have a friend with a camera, a friend with an audio, a couple lights, act, put out a short film that's three minutes every single week. Didn't Have um, people come to you. Yeah, didn't Post Malone put up all of his music? I think it was on Spotify, and that's just one of them blew up. Yeah, it was... Um, that song is a big one yeah uh not congratulations one. um i ain't rich but you know i'm not broke uh. oh yeah oh, man. i know i have to look, look it, it, up. it up what's his famous first song but yeah that's my whole point is is that i i, I don't again i don't want to tell people what to do but as you can probably see with the the tone in my voice i am so passionate white iverson white iverson yeah um, please build <laughs> How does that go? White Iverson. <laughs> please build a social media. Um, yeah, just start. Do what you can in your house. You don't even need friends to help you out. If you are acting and right now you just can't see anyone because of the nature of what's happening in the world, start doing some monologues. Put something out there. Start doing TikToks. Do your favorite monologues on TikTok. They even, you know, like there's so many different things. Do three TikToks. Three TikToks a day. Yeah, or do a YouTube. Instagram, and yeah, then post Instagram. it to everything. Start a podcast, talk about it. Just every single thing to put yourself out there because 
I even got kind of lucky in the fact that I did not work as hard back in the day when things were just working for yeah. me. I wasn't working that hard. Where now I'm working 16 hours a day on everything we're doing and I understand how hard it is. And you have to do that as an actor unless you want to get a little lucky. And when I mean lucky, I mean I was out here in 2006, 2007, 2008, where if you had a carbon copy of people they wanted on TV, it looked like me. Yeah. From 2006 to 2009, every role wanted my demographic. Yep. Exactly my age, my look. I auditioned three to four times a week. I went on 500 auditions for huge movies and television shows yeah. the first four years. My friends now, because I stopped auditioning for the past seven years, but my my friends who are still auditioning, they're, they're auditioning once every six weeks. Mm -hmm. And they have been for the past five years. So I was lucky to come out here in a time where my look was perfect, and but then I didn't have any talent. So you all did. those auditions, but I was still green. Yeah. But you then learned. I was I was able to book, but I wasn't in acting class five days a week when I should have been. I went to acting class for maybe, I went to acting class 12 times in my whole career mm -hmm. out here. I did a lot in Cleveland when I was a kid, but I, I was just kind of this young kid who just was like charismatic isn't, with isn't a smile. Isn't energy and funny though? You just, didn't care? Yeah. And it happened. But I remember um, Joey Fatone from NSYNC had said this like probably 20 plus years ago and it always mm -hmm. stuck with me. And he was saying, you know... I think in our scenario and situation, um, we were really hard workers, we had talent, but we had luck on our side. And he's like, that's why we are where we're at today. Not taking away that they are super talented, they worked and busted their butts, but they were in the right place at the right time, meeting the right people and all just gelled and worked exactly as it should have. So that happens all the time. Even people on TikTok, Charlie D'Amelio, is that right, D'Amelio? Yeah. She was just kind of like doing her thing. She was doing the work, putting the work in, as you should, as NSYNC was doing. And then she just, it was right place, right time. A little bit of luck. Well, luck favors the prepared mind. Yes. And how it so happened with us is that we got into business and we got into personal development and we got into responsibility, hard work, resilience, understanding the human condition, bettering yeah. ourselves so that when we got this wave of money, career, we didn't squander it because I also saw a lot of people who got lucky like I did during the during that time. Yeah, but then they're have, broke have living now. with four roommates now because they didn't continue on where yeah. I looked and go, oh, wow, I was fortunate. Now, I didn't just go out on my sixth audition, that kind of luck. Right. I you... went on 500 and only booked 12. Mm -hmm. It just so happened Days was one of them and some big national commercials that paid well. But um, And Days was a long-term gig yeah. for you. So Almost ten years. So that was that was the that was the big that was the thing. So my I never want to be a downer about being an actor. I just want people to know coming out because, you know, it. I, mean, I could I could do an hour podcast and we should one day just all about everything that we've learned. But it's I, I feel like everyone wants advice of like, you know, like what do I say in an email to a manager or what, how do I act hmm. when that is, so low on the list. It's how do you make enough money and hang out with the right people so you don't lose your mind? How do you not lose yourself? How do you keep yourself with your Midwest or wherever you were born, your family Stay morals yourself, and your who yeah. you are and not get caught up in this town? And then how do you manage your money? And that's where we made the huge mistake is if you do pop a show and get paid 300 grand in a year, you still live on 30,000. Yeah. You, you, you invest it, you have to learn because then we get to be in a position like we are now where I get to act as a hobby. Mm -hmm. It took me all these years, but now I get to do what I've always dreamt of where I don't want the stress of, so someone asked another question too, would you ever do a primetime show or anything else? I would, but now I'm only choosing something when it's for the, when it's the role. Right. I'm not just going to, just, just to be on a show for four episodes, I'm not going to go spend all that time, pay all my commissions out, pay all the time. I mean, you don't even make that much and it's like, yeah, it'd be fun, but I'm not going to take my time away from everything else we're building. Right. If I don't like the role, if it's just some average dude. So, but if I didn't build other businesses the past six and a half years and that was my only income, I would take anything because we need to pay the bills. Mm -hmm. So you get trapped and then your acting becomes less fun. And then also you take roles that you might not have taken and it puts your career in a different direction because you need the paycheck. So that's, it's really interesting when you look at every aspect of it. Yeah. So there's a lot and, and that's my, my biggest advice is you got to be around good people. You have to do 
you have to dedicate your life to it. Live and breathe acting, live and breathe a business, live and breathe your YouTube, whatever you're doing, Mm -hmm. live and breathe it and create it yourself these days. Don't wait. It's the worst feeling to sit Mm -hmm. around and wait for your phone to ring. Oh my gosh. Have the phone ring as a bonus. Yep. I love everything we're pitching. Mm -hmm. If the phone rings or the email comes in, it's a bonus. I'm always like, ooh. But I'm not like, (sighs) Every day. I used to be that. Ask my best friend, Mio. Call him up right now. I would sit in that apartment and go, smack the back of my house. Like, Neil, I got a book. I got a book. <laughs> like, I know you probably did like, that Like, I too. slept with my sides under my pillow. Mm-hmm. Like, obsessive. Like, I got a book. Like, I was hungry. You're always hungry for, <laughs> like, success. Yeah. Always. <laughs> Absolutely. I'm I'm obsessed. I just I just I love progress. That's good though. That's a great thing. 